Oh, was there a chest piece that I could have grabbed? Oh, well. It's fine. Oh, you mean the other one. Like in here? Okay. People are saying I'm buffering. It says on my end, I... Might have dropped some frames like a little bit ago, but I barely dropped frames. Okay, I'm gonna keep going through all of these levels before we, uh... Before we go back to... Oh, wait, no, we've already done this one. This one was nightmarish. Okay. Out of order. Yep, it'll be back later. Absolution Defiant Penumbra. Sure. So, classic... Classic Mega Man is lo uh, as a roguelike. I Mega Man X. Oh, this is rude. Okay. Screw this business. I'm going home. I... Ow? Oh. You can destroy those. Oh! I don't like this level. What the hell? Alright. Yeah, we'll come back to that one last. Let's go bonk on Zen Primus again. Yeah, some of these level... Uh, that level especially felt kind of last levelish. I could be wrong on it, but it certainly felt that way. It also does not help that I have specced all into speed and not at all into literally anything else, which has only slowed me down, as enemies are tougher. Well, sort of tougher. It really does feel so much better than the first one. There we go. Gosh, I cannot wait to see speedruns of this. They're going to be... If you pardon my friend. Uh, very stinky. We... I like the arc shot, but there are definitely certain times where I just, like, whiz this shot straight over my enemies' heads, and it's like, oh, right. Aha! Nah, I need a double jump. Okay, were there any wheel bots in here? No. There they are. Kind of, there we go. I wonder if you can kill that guy beforehand, if you're really strong. 
Whoa! Oh, that's going to make this fight kind of fun. Normally, roller derby here is kind of spookball, but I'm so fast it doesn't matter. Oh. No, never mind. Loot's over here. Grab that. I'm not... Did that not give me anything? Maybe it didn't. I want to go to the glory zone. Okay, flowers up there. Oh, do not miss the loot. Skipping it. I I feel like there might be a bit of a limited item pool here. Either that or I'm just really unlucky. limited level pool, too. Well, this sucks. Damn it. There we kind of go. That hurt more than it ought to. Okay. Bees. Bees. Big HP bees. HBs. Okay, I don't see anything else up. Do I spend money? Sure. Blow that up. There we go. He dead. We're not going to bother with the rest of these. Honestly, I don't have to fight everything. I still would like to, because, you know, must fight everything, but... There we go. Thank you for all of the HP shrine. Okay, is it boss time yet? Oops. Ain't boss time yet. Eat gear. I should probably use that more often. Okay, is there... Yeah, there might actually be something over there. At least there's something up in here. Nope, never mind. Wow. I wonder if... No, they said the levels were procedurally generated. I'm seeing a lot of repeats here, so either... They really don't actually have that much variety, or... It's a consequence of Mega Mode. I could be wrong. Okay, nothing else here. Time to fight on Big... Big Moncus. Uh, no Big Moncus? We... I'm going places. No. No, that ain't gonna work. Mega Mood... I... Mega Mode, I believe, is not procedurally generated. Okay. 
thought it said it was. Oh, well, doesn't matter much to me one way or another. It's gonna have some amount of procedural generation because it really is giving me the same, like literally the same power-ups over and over and over again. That's rude. Okay. Blow through that. There we go. That didn't work. He's very big on these Shoryuki Shoryukins for some reason. Ow. There we go. Got him. Whew. Okay. Zen Mortar. Splits on second press. So that actually lets us shoot up. Uh, let's see. Switch these two. Wait, combine fusions. Wait, what? Okay. This is damn cool. All right, so I now can delete rooms. Which gets us another level. Oh, spicy incense, plus one attack damage per level, and also now. All stats way up. All right, let's do Hoot Omega again. What's the cat in the top right? It didn't do anything when I, got, when I went there, so my assumption is kind of nothing. So the one unfortunate part is my fingers are starting to die. So I think this is going to have to be my last level one way or another. At least for now. Oops. The other problem is I'm starting to get this like really glazed eye feel uh, that comes from too many things happening at once. I, I don't know about you guys, but when I, when I play these games... I, uh, I kind of fuzz my vision out. Ah, damn it. It only resets the level when you die, but I've died plenty, so I don't know. I'll have to, when we're done with this, I'll go back out to the main menu. And we'll see what it says about Mega Mode. Because I wouldn't be surprised if they just don't have the procedural generation in. On Mega Mode yet. Because, I mean, it, this is Alpha. Personally, the best way to do it in my head... Let's see. The best way to do this mode, at least in my own head, is let you keep everything. Well, 
Why do you keep everything? Because that gets really busted really fast. Really just have the procedurally generated levels? And maybe really make you earn the upgrades. Or just make it so you can only have so many augs. Though I would argue the augs certainly... Yeah, there we go. The augs certainly aren't making this easier. Yeah, this this definitely isn't procedurally generated. We've been through these levels before. Like, I, I've been through all of these zones. Man, it's... Not gonna lie, it's actually kind of hard to look at this game right now. Because I've fuzzed my eyes out so I know exactly where I'm going and where I should be going. Okay. Extra... Oh, core power. Head that wears the crown does more damage. Frail glory. Now let's go with the core core points. We currently don't have too much of a use for them. But this way I can at least wear some extra stuff. There we go. That was the boss. I think that was just kind of a mid-boss. We... Yeah, I don't know how frustrating Frail Crown will be, but anything that I can potentially lose is like an absolute no from me. Oh boy, just... Didn't want to be here for some reason. Okay. Oh, these guys are just pointed the wrong direction. I'll take it. Gladly. Okay, so I can only do my hover thing occasionally. This is a cool level. I like it. Like, I'll, I will absolutely say, this this alpha really does showcase what they can do with this game. And I have to say, I'm really excited to see, like, where they go with this. Alright, we got 30, so we can get the damage upgrade. Okay, there we go. Ah! Freaking swords just out of nowhere. No! No! My HP. Rude. There we go. Ow! Gosh, yeah, I can't even see these guys anymore. I was complimenting how this game looks, but I'm finding my finding it just a little hard to see through all of the just various effects. Oh god. Especially certain enemies that just blend right in. Well, this is certainly bad news for me completing this level. Taking a lot of just chip damage here. But I guess it's also one of those that it doesn't matter too much. Does this game come out at midnight? Uh, you know, I actually don't know. Hoot Omega, Scion of Storms. But where is Hoot? Oh. Uh. 
But who is Hoot? Ow. Okay. Okay. Some like hidden potential after you die. Rending whirl. And nothing else. That's fine. Okay. So I've only killed half the bosses here. But that's alright. So what else we got? Four way four way dash in midair. Charge attacks deal bonus damage. All attacks ignore walls and shields. Jesus. Some of these are just busted. I... Let's grab Quantum Spook. What else can I spend? Oh, unlock salvaging. Augs can be salvaged for nuts or other resources. Yes. What else do we got? Increase max HP or energy. I guess there's really nothing else for me to spend on. Unlocks auto tank. Can resurrect you once per... Uh, one time per run if you feed it health. Start with extra nuts. Yeah, a number of these seem to be very much based around the roguelike mode. And not the actual meta progression. Oh. No, this is, this is the recycler. Where is recycling? Or maybe I do it in my inventory. It unlocks salvaging. I don't even. Well, you know what? It ain't done. But yeah, I'm not. I would like to be able to salvage that, but I don't think I can. Oh, maybe when you pick it up. Ah, uh, you know, that's probably exactly the case. We'll see. Because, yeah, it definitely ain't cat. Well, speaking of cats... Okay. Now that my shots ignore walls, I figure I can do this level easily. Okay, not easily. We might we might actually want to turn lob shot on for this one. Yep. I think that's exactly what we what we needed for this. Okay. Destroy Snack. Okay, that cannot hit Snack. There we go. Snack was not worth much, but that's okay. So at this point, we probably want to just save for the full 60. Let's see. Oh, right. That'll do the trick. For the all stats way up, just to see what I can get. If I can... If I can actually utilize it well.
There we go. Get out of here. Balls. No one wants you in this environment. Least of all, me. Okay, there's nothing over here. Yeah, trippy, trippy looking level. It's, yeah, it's like whacked out cyberspace. I like the visuals for it. It's a little hard to look at, but I, okay. Oh, and a tiny amount of energy. I wasn't aware, but. Okay, don't think I can kill those guys. But I do want to kill the snake. There we go. Okay, not actually so bad. There we go. This reminds me there's another roguelike that I want to check out called... It was called Elsie. That looked really cool. I played a little bit of it at PAX like two years ago. And it was real neat, but also real hard. Eh, that's fine. Gotta go fast. Alright. It's snack time. But you know what? This time, I've got secret weapons. Here's another question. Okay. Try the next one. Column of Destruction, but with gears. Okay. So apparently the gears just make it, uh... Oh, I have no energy. Do I get it back from shooting? No. Looks like I gotta get en energy back from killing. Okay. Didn't get out of the way fast enough. Oh, he can go through there. I was under the impression that he could not. Nope. Damn it. I can be fast as heck and it does not matter. That's okay. Really, all I have to do is just get him on this straight away. Enough, like. Yeah, I got this. As long as we don't end up glued to a wall. Because he's very quick. And me getting glued to a. glued to walls for a. ill time wall slide. It's just bad. Yeah, I could definitely use an HP bar on this dude. Yeah, Snake is tough. Jesus. Ow. What the hell? Alright, that was weird. Got him. Snake is real tough. Receive blessing. Max energy? Nah. More HP. The more HP I have less beatable I'm gonna be. To the glory zone! Whoops. That didn't work. Huh. That was interesting. Rude. Flobbin' time. There we go. Actually, this is not a lot of time. Bye. Oh.
Okay, is there anything over here? No, it's just like a weird chamber that the balls might be in. Come on. Get in the damage hole. Hello. Welcome to gun hell. Okay. Anything else? Just this. We're good. We get... Talon, your attack... Uh, your attack kills might restore energy. Oh, that's incredibly good. It's also incredibly expensive, so go figure it's so good. Alright, well, we got the core, core spots. The power of lob compels you. Exactly. Hey. Oh, that's where I get to salvage things. Well, that's a bit of a letdown. Hello, Snack. Ah, oh, shit. It's loose. Okay. Well, it's a good thing that doesn't that thing doesn't crush me. Okay, there we go. I wanted to kill the snack cuz this snack often gives good loot, but ain't worth it. Why? This is just chaos. This whole level it looks super cool. Oops. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna go through it. We'll just... Decidedly not. There we go. I don't, th I don't know if there's anything up above. Oh, I can use the right stick to look! That's actually really huge. It'd be dead if that was the original Mega Man Death by Squish. Oh, absolutely. I'm glad they didn't keep with that, because Death by Squish was always really annoying. It's... Well, stopped prematurely, but okay. I want you to die, sir. Okay, there's something up there. Aha! Take me away! Give me the shortcut! Oh, that's... That's no shortcut. Nope. False. There we go. Well, I guess I'll just thank you. Power enhancers. Powers deal more damage. I'll take it. Oh, salvaging it gives extra max energy, though. Ooh. That's a trade-off. A trade-off I'm not willing to make. Okay. Please die. Please die for the sake of me and mostly just me. Is it boss time? It's boss time. Alright, cat. <sighs> Was it there it is. Legacy, gracious host! Oh, that's not a cat. I don't know why I thought this guy was a cat. Okay. I don't know if I can kill these. Ow. Rude.
Well, if I'm gonna take damage. I legitimately do not know if I can damage these. I can hurt him. I. Wow, this is rude. I don't know what the... Ow. Ow. I don't know what he's doing with half of these. Okay, he's switched tactics, which is actually really good for me. Balls. Except for this right here. This, this is rough. Or die, I guess. Got him. Whew. Like I said, this game's kind of hard to look at. <laughs> Neat fight. Hard to look at. Negaton Pulse. Negates projectiles and deals minor damage in a wide area. Now, let's toy with some of these. Oh, I don't have any power yet. I guess we gotta go. We gotta go back. Okay. Uh. Really? Yeah, see, that one... That one works. Ooh. So it's shields. Okay, this this is also really cool. I love this fusion system. I wonder if that just destroys projectiles. Oh. Wait, no, that's not it. That. Probably just a projectile destroying whatever. Ah! Fired a second time. Oh, that's cool! Don't know how practical it is, but it's cool looking. Okay. And we've unlocked some more things. So we can get Owlhawk's Rain, extra... Survival stats and Contractor Plus for stats up. Thing is, I think we need Spicy in Incense. Which I'm not actually sure how much it helps me. I think it's probably for every level beaten. But one way or another... Uh, also, I, I really like the fact that... It's the windmill is still going. No, that's not it. What ability was this? Not that one. Not that one. Shoot, what was the one that gave me... spinning shields around me? Might be this one. Let's give it a shot. Okay, so every time I enter a level, it gives me attack strength. Oh, stupid drill mole. Okay, now here's a question. If I end run, how's my damage? <laughs> yeah, okay. So I think I'm going to call it here. As much as I adore this game, it's really fun, it's really well made, and it's really cool. Uh, flip side, it's hurting my fingers, and I don't feel like Mega Mode 
is um, I don't feel like Mega Mode is quite balanced around uh, well I don't think it's quite balanced yet I'm starting to get, get kind of tired if it's not immediately obvious but I love the power-ups I enjoy the ability to redo the levels I think the uh I think my better idea for what Mega Mode could be would just straight up be basic basic starting area. Please confirm, are you a quitter? Oh, is that really what it said? Uh I don't know. I'd have to think about how Mega Mode works. Cause I think flip flip side I think it's a good example of almost I didn't actually bother to read it, I just clicked straight past through it. It's a great example of how to play and practice this game early. I, I would like the idea, or the ability to like regenerate the levels, but I realized that would, uh, I would be busted as heck. So go figure, uh, they probably wouldn't want to do that. So yeah, you can each, you can only complete each of these levels once. And then once you're done, you're done. You start a new save file fresh, but you probably keep the meta progression. That's actually, it's kind of like a rotating new game plus. In my head, I thought Mega Mode was going to re like procedurally generate every single level. Uh, every single time you entered into them with new power-ups and new items and pickups and whatnot. But no, this lets you re repeat it. So, to some degree, maybe I should actually give the roguelike mode more of a shot. Maybe. Uh, that said, if I wanted to farm the meta progression, uh, I might actually be better to, uh, to do it in meta mode. Though, so much of this stuff is locked, presumably behind later pro progress on the game. Uh, so I guess the easier way to put it is, I'll be back to this game when it's done. I love it, I love it dearly. The pixels, the music, the gameplay, all of it is everything that I was hoping for and more. But I want to see it when it's actually closer to completion, because, I mean, honestly, I don't really like playing unfinished products as much anymore. Uh, but it looks really cool. That yeah, probably gives loot and level. Maybe. I don't know. And who knows? Maybe we'll, ch we'll come back periodically just to do the roguelike mode. But I think this is a really good way to actually take a look. I still didn't read it. I just clicked past like a goon. Okay. Go down here. Anyway. So for those... Yeah. Quit to menu. Are you serious? So there's a different one every single time. I like that. All right. Uh, let's see. So what was I going to say? 30XX is going to be out tomorrow for those of you watching this on, on stream and is going to be out well, it's probably already out by the time this hits YouTube. I am nothing but positive about this and I can't wait to see what they do with it. But for now at least I'll see you next time. And as always, thanks for watching. Okay.